spend two minutes studying, examine Instagram, spend two minutes studying, look through Netflix, spend two minutes studying, examine your email, spend two minutes studying, in TikTok, you may go lost endlessly. If this sounds like your normal study session, you're not alone. However, you may want some assistance to kickstart your drive, especially if you have an exam coming up. Perhaps visiting here will be your new method of procrastination. If that's the case, you're on the correct route. Not every study motivation technique will work for everyone, but there is something out there that will. We've put up a collection of study motivation tips for when you simply need to buckle down and get it done. Explore our suggestions below and try a couple of them out. Some work well alone, some work well together, and some may work for you now but not tomorrow. If nothing else, it's a fantastic diversion from studying, and you could come across something that truly helps you boost your studying game. The Pomodoro Technique The Pomodoro Technique is very simple. Study for 25 minutes, take a break for 5 to 10 minutes. Repeat the cycle four times. Take a longer break. There are variants to this approach, and you may discover that you prefer shorter study intervals, or that you can only repeat the cycle three times before needing a lengthier rest. No matter how you personalize it, knowing the finish is in sight, and a break is on the way, makes it easier to study for longer amounts of time. Set a timer for both your study sessions and your breaks, to help you keep track of time and avoid continually checking the clock. Get up and do something active that gets your blood pumping during your breaks, and make the most of them. If you spend your breaks watching 10 minutes of a TV show, you're unlikely to be inspired to return to your work. The Pomodoro Technique also works quite well with page and app blockers. Focus Me, the website blocker, is making it simple to utilize in conjunction with this approach. Website and App Blockers This is a classic study motivation technique, since it physically removes whatever is distracting you, presuming the distraction is digital. These are for you if you only need a little aid with your self-control. There are several blockers accessible for your phone and PC, such as Freedom or App Block. They all function in much the same way, they block whichever websites or apps you want them to ban, for whatever long you want them to block. If you sound like the person mentioned at the beginning of this video, this can work extremely effectively. Consider which websites or applications use the most of your time, and ban them while you study. If this sounds impossible, begin with small blocks of time and work your way up. Create your own reward system. Choose something that you truly desire, such as a box of cookies, a break to go for a run, a trip to the movies, and so forth. Whatever it is, utilize it as a motivator to finish a study session. Maybe you purchase some cookies but only allow yourself to eat them after an hour of studying. Maybe you want to see a new movie, but you can't go until you've studied for 3 hours or mastered 20 concepts. Maybe you get some sweets and put one in your mouth every time you properly answer a question or finish a practice task. Perhaps you prepare your favorite snack but decide that from now until your test, you can only eat it while studying. If you're having problems focusing, using shorter incentive intervals, such as the example with the candy after each question, may work better at first. Once you get into a rhythm or discover a bit more drive, you may go to greater delayed gratification. Create a prize for yourself that you can only obtain if you perform well on the test or in the course as a whole to really put the pressure on and push yourself to do well. Including your parents in this process might also be beneficial. If you score an A on the exam, your parents might take you out to your favorite restaurant, while you might go to an amusement park if you receive a B in the course. The idea is that a reward system must be tailored to you in order to be effective. Set up a reward for obtaining an A if you know it's very difficult to achieve an A. 
Similarly, if you don't enjoy shopping or if spending money stresses you out, don't treat yourself with a trip to the mall. Schedule your day. The more free time you have, the more likely it is that you won't waste it. When you have a lot on your plate and know you won't have much time to study, it drives you to become laser focused. Schedule a particular time in your day to study. Actually, arranging it on your calendar makes it less likely that you'll put it off since it becomes a real duty that must be completed. Structured procrastination. Procrastination, believe it or not, may be used to your benefit. Stanford University professor John Perry invented and discussed structured procrastination. If you procrastinate, you probably complete easy or basic chores while putting off more difficult or time-consuming tasks. The procrastinator can be motivated to complete tough, timely, and essential activities as long as these chores allow them to avoid doing something more important, Perry argues. To make this approach work, you must prioritize things that are more essential or challenging than studying, and place them at the top of your to-do list. Then studying, another essential activity, becomes an easier duty, one that you're more likely to perform as a diversion from the more important task. Find the perfect study spot. Choose a location that you adore. Perhaps it's in a beloved chair or resting in a hammock outside. Perhaps you'll even make a nice sanctuary in the corner of your bedroom. Make it your specific study place and only use it for studying. The more you like being there, the more driven you will be to study so that you may return to your favorite location. Just get started. There are no excuses. Simply sit down and begin studying. Starting is sometimes the most difficult aspect, so if you simply sit down and begin, you may find yourself in a rhythm. Go study if you think this suggestion could work for you. Stop viewing this video right now and go study. Form a study group. If you are a sociable person, learning might be tough, since you dislike being alone in silence. Having a group of individuals to study with may be inspiring. Your study group may even include your parents or a buddy who isn't in the same class as you. They can help quiz you and just keep you company while you study, if being quiet and alone drives you insane. You might also involve your educator or professor in this. Teachers genuinely want to help, so if you ask for study assistance, they are unlikely to say no. Inquire whether you and a few buddies can come in early, remain late, or study during a study hall session. Being in the presence of your teacher will help inspire you to study, and you will also benefit from having an expert in the room to assist you. This technique is sure to assist if you're putting off studying because the information is unclear and intimidating. Go to the library or a coffee shop. When you sit down to study and find yourself scrolling through social media, it's tempting to get envious of everyone else who appears to be having a wonderful time. It's also easy to believe you're the only one in the world studying right now. There will be many other individuals reading, studying, or working quietly at a coffee shop or a library. It's motivating to see someone else exhibit strong study habits. Get lost in music. Put on your favorite music, or classical music if lyrics bother you, and allow the beat of the music keep your study session moving. Putting on headphones also helps with this. You may get lost in the music and in your own world. Create a clean workspace. A clean and tidy environment aids in the clarity and organization of your thoughts. It may appear weird or ridiculous, but you may discover that clearing out clutter allows you to think more clearly. Clean up your workstation if you need to take a break or want to postpone for a few more minutes. When your environment is crowded, your subconscious mind is making mental notes of everything else you need to accomplish and what you need to tidy up. Cleaning up your workstation may imply cleaning up your notes as well. 
you're not going to want to sit down and analyze what you wrote, if you made poor notes and everything is disorganized and difficult to read. That requires your brain to endure a lot of effort, before it can even begin to learn. Spend some time typing or rewriting your notes, and the process of studying will feel less daunting. Here are some ways to organize your notes. Use a binder to separate and organize worksheets. Make flashcards. Organize your notes with a graphic organizer. Color code your notes with pens or highlighters. Start with something easy. It is difficult to study. It's also tedious. That is precisely why you do not want to do it. Begin by reviewing topics you already know well, or by doing a simple or even thoughtless study assignment, such as arranging your note cards. These smaller activities might provide you with the motivation you need to keep going. This can also boost your self-esteem if you've been putting off studying, since you don't believe you know anything. Remember your why. Consider why you need to study, and why you want to succeed in your course. Do you have to pass in order to graduate? Is this a course in the field you want to work in? Do you enjoy the material despite its difficulty? Do you want to be the pride of your family? Do you want to prove to yourself that you're capable of doing it? Whatever your why is, keep returning to it whenever you don't feel like studying. It may be beneficial to place this somewhere you will see it frequently. Break it down. Thinking about doing everything all at once may be daunting, and it can leave you feeling as if there is so much to do that you don't know where to begin. Consider everything you need to do to study and write it down. Then, divide it into little parts that you can tackle one at a time. Don't worry about learning everything right now. Instead, consider what you can accomplish right now. Check or cross off each task that you've broken down as you finish it. It's incredibly encouraging to see your list shrinking and shrinking. Multitask Multitasking does not always work, although it can be effective when combined with a thoughtless pastime. If you don't want to sit quietly in a room, go for a stroll while studying flashcards, or ride a stationary bike while reading your textbook. You might even enlist the assistance of a friend or parent. For example, shoot some hoops while they ask you a question between each shot. With so many methods and suggestions available, you're certain to find at least one that works for you. Try a couple to see if they make a difference, and keep in mind that many of these methods complement one another. Studying is difficult and rarely enjoyable, but these study motivation tips might help you get started and even make it pleasant.